I grew up in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, I was a poor child. <laughs> now I grew up in a, a single family home. <clears throat> my mom uh, uh, pretty much raised me, um, me and my sister. And grew up, you know, had lots of adventures in Detroit. It was, uh, Detroit's kind of a, a, a city where it can get kind of rough from time to time. So I saw a lot of things. And uh, My high school, my high school was a school where um, I went to a private school at first, and that was cool, you know. And then I stopped going to private school, and I went to a public school. And right before I joined the public school, the um, the football, the football, the quarterback, and the um, the president of the school, he was both. They were at the homecoming dance, and he stepped on somebody's shoe, and they shot him dead on the floor. So this was my high school, and I was just about to go there. I was like, wow, okay, so Detroit was a beast. I'm just saying, Detroit was a beast. And uh, uh, anyway, so I came from there, and uh, I was fortunate enough to get three scholarships to college. I went to college and uh, uh, picked the one furthest away from home, and uh, that was in San Diego. And, you know, did my, got my degree in musical theater and uh, learned how to sing, dance, and act. And, um, from there, I, uh, I worked on cruise ships for a while, traveling around the world. Um, did some, went to travel everywhere. I went to, to Alaska, Mexico, Jamaica, uh, Australia, Hong Kong, Singapore, China. Uh, just everywhere. I went all over the place. South Pacific Islands, you know, uh, Brazil. Up, up and down the Amazon River, and like had a, a, amazing adventures, went on glaciers, and I mean, I'm, I'm an adventurous person, so did all that, and then I got to LA, and I uh, started auditioning, and I booked Power Rangers, so that was kind of like my first television job. It's funny, it, it was uh, in Kiss Me Kate, it was, uh, I was one of the gangsters, I had to sing brush up your Shakespeare, and, and that was funny, because it was, a uh, you know, it was like, I was definitely a character, as one of the characters, and I, I told her like this, hey, you know, my name is whatever, and we were gangsters, and I had this big dude, his name is Bob Mack, he's my co-star, and, uh, well, he was my partner, and we had songs, and so forth, and so on, and it was, it was very memorable, because, uh, I never thought that I would get a part like that, you know, and, uh, and, it went over, it went over really well. Well, because I've always looked really young, and and this, you know, it was like these were men that were playing these parts, and I, you know, I had on a hat and the whole thing, and then I did it, and it went over really well. And there was that, and then I did um, A Misbehaving, and that was another show that like sold out all the audiences, and everybody came, and everybody loved it, and I was singing, and you know, um, so those were definitely very memorable for me. Those. Two roles. Um, Amos behaving because it was uh, it was a project that uh, where I really got to be a character, you know. It was like and uh, and I had a lot of songs. Uh, I never really felt like I was the most amazing vocalist, but I could sell a song because of my acting capabilities and, and the character I would bring to the role. Um, and and those were two shows that really proved that point. Uh, it was it was lengthy. I mean, they had been auditioning for for quite a while. In fact, I was doing a show. I was when I first got the audition, I was traveling to Florida to do um, to do a show there, and uh, and so I missed it, missed the audition. And I was like, man, I missed this audition for a TV show. I was upset, and I, you know, I came back, and they were like, they still want to see you. I'm like, wow. So they had already had a number of auditions already. And they brought me in. Uh, you know, they kind of broke it down where they they had us do different things. We had to, first they wanted to see us dance. Well, my character. They wanted to see my character dance. And so I, I did my hip hop stuff. You know, and they said, "Can you throw in a couple of karate moves with it?" So I did. Okay, let me see karate moves with dancing. Let's say you work that out. Okay, I can do this move. Boom, 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 boom. Let's do a kick. And they're like, oh, "Okay, all right, that was good." And then uh, they were like, "What well, can you do in gymnastics?" And I'm like. Can do a few things. Just back flip, on uh, backhand spring. You know, can you do it in combination? I'm like, that wasn't my strong suit. 
I was like, I can try to put a couple of things together. And I did that. And, uh, and then acting, which was my suit, it was like, okay, I know I can act. I got that one down. You know, we, you know, acting, I, I knocked that out. And before you know it, they were, I got my callbacks. I think I had like two or three callbacks. And, uh, and we were, the first one was like, a whole bunch of people came back. It was a big, like a cattle call. And then the next one was, um, they start putting us with different casts. So they had seen like 800 people for five characters. And then it broke down to like 100 people. And then it broke down to like 50 people. And it was like five casts or four casts of five. And uh, and then we had to kind of audition against each other. So five casts went in. It was a short cast. It was a tall cast. There was another cast. You know, there was a funny cast, whatever. And uh, we went in and auditioned. And the chemistry was right. And we got it. Well, you know what? I, I didn't. I don't remember if I saw all the footage, but I knew. Uh, I, and I wasn't in the room to see the other cast perform because we were outside. They brought in a cast of five at a time, right? So um, I, I don't. I can't tell you about what they brought specifically. I know that one of the guys that was that was in a runner-up position for me for the character of Zach, his style of dancing and martial arts was Michael Jackson. So he was doing like Michael Jackson type moves. In fact, he had played Michael Jackson in the movie shortly after, um, and he uh, he had you know he had Michael style down. So he was doing that kind of movement with martial arts, which I don't know if that would have gone over as well. But um, yeah, he, he was a he was a good guy. But I don't really know about any of the other cast members. It was confusing. You know, it was like, it was all new. I mean, it was all new for all of us. I mean, not everybody was an actor. I mean, Austin St. John auditioned on a dare. He never acted before. He, he, he didn't care about acting at all. It was just something he happened to do, and he happened to be good enough, and he got it. Like, it was one of those situations. Um... Amy Jo Johnson was definitely an actress, you know, she was really good. Uh, I don't know how much acting David had done, or, and, and uh, the pilot, Audrey Dubois, was the Trini. And, uh, and she was interesting in the character, you know, like, so we were finding our chemistry, we were all excited about what it was, um, and then, you know, we had, we, we learned our lines, we had gone through wardrobe, we had been fitted, and it was all new. It was like, okay, so you got people giving us clothes, and we got to do makeup? Oh, we got to do makeup, and, and how are they going to do, like, I was like, well, how y'all going to do my makeup? Because I, not a lot, not everybody knows how to do makeup on black people. So, uh, that was interesting, because we had some, some, some problems. I was like, yeah, I look gray. <laughs> okay. Gray is not the color I want to be, right? So I was like, and I ended up being like, you know what? I'm taking all this off. I don't want any makeup. And I didn't have acne, so I was fine. And it all worked out. And eventually, they just put a little powder on me, and it was like, good. It was good. They didn't have to do much to me. Um, my hair, you know, that was another issue. It was like, you know, you have hair and makeup, and they didn't know what to do with my hair. They're like, they don't know what to do with my hair. I had a flat top, you know? So I did all my stuff. I, I, I touched myself up. They didn't cut my hair or anything like that. I did everything on my own. Um, and then, then it came to, you know, being on the on the set and and finding our marks, you know, everything was explained. Here's your mark. You know, you gotta hit this spot. I want you to walk, you know, from here, you're gonna say this line. You gotta stop at this place. The camera is there, but don't look in the camera. You know, all these things that were new about acting for a television show and, and dealing with a camera and, and a whole set of people and I mean all these people on the set and then you're you know everybody's focused on you it's, it's like okay this is cool I like this there's extras and they're just kind of walking around and we are the people that everybody's here for that's this is kind of a cool experience so it was exciting. It was new. It was exciting. It was, uh, you know, we were. I think we were all a little nervous, trying to find our chemistry and trying to find uh, the energy, and you know, just um, we were discovering. There was an episode where I had um, a, a tarantula on my shoulder, right? And uh, the prod man said, you know, so we're gonna do this episode today. And we're gonna put a live tarantula on your shoulder. And, and I'm supposed to have this big fear of, of spiders. And I'm not that, bugs are not that problematic for me, but 
it's a tarantula. And I had never seen a real tarantula. So I was like fascinated. I was like, all right. So they put the tarantula on my shoulder and I'm like, okay, wow, there's a tarantula on my shoulder. And the, and the prop guy goes, um, don't make any sudden moves because you don't want them to, to get nervous and, and, and bite. And I'm like, okay. So I'm doing the scene, you know, and they got the tarantula on the shoulder. And the director goes, look at the spider and scream. And I'm like, okay. And I'm in, you know, I'm in character and everything. I look and I'm like, ah, get her off, get her off. And the spider goes. He raises up his legs and I'm like, oh my God. They're like, cut. I'm like, get it off, get it off, get it off. I went from, ah, get it off, get it off, get it off, man, get it off, hurry up. And and the spider didn't bite me and I was happy and and uh, and afterwards I kept him. I kept the tarantula. I took him home and became my pet. I called him homie. Cause homie didn't play that. <laughs> I was like, and it was cool. It was, it was fun. I, I kept him for a couple of years. Yeah, it was uh, it was a cool spider. I had to feed him crickets. It's interesting. I regret that the show was a non-union show. That was definitely a problem and an issue. But I, I don't regret that I did the show in any way. I regret that I didn't do the film. Um, but that was a contractual thing. It was like. Um, I wanted the show to be union. I really wanted the show to be union because I thought if it was union, then it would be fair. You know, the union protects actors. I mean, um, this industry is a very difficult industry. It's not that it's not an industry where you can excel and and, be, and do really well and continue to work. I mean, there's a lot of people that have had successful TV shows and you never see them again. You, they may never get another job because it's a highly competitive industry. So. The show being what it was, and uh, it was like such a huge success in the first season. Um, and then we did a second season, and then it was like, oh, now we're about to do a movie. We're, in fact, we're, there may be two movies. And, you know, we were given a contract for movies, and they were non union. And I was like, wow, they made a billion dollars in the first year, and this is still a non union show. And now they want us to do non union movies. And at that point, it just felt like, we needed to renegotiate and in the end it didn't work out you know I mean I think I regret that I didn't do the movie and I wish I had uh, I wish that everything had worked out you know that's my biggest regret because um, I'm excited about being a power ranger and, and what it's done for my life and and um, and what it's done for the lives of other people and and, and what we created as uh, as a cast and um, the product that we created and how it affected people. I mean, every day somebody comes up to me and is like, man, you don't even know. Like, you were my childhood or or I learned from your show a better way to be or I, I started taking martial arts because of your show or I started dancing hip-hop because of you or because of you. All these things, all these positive things that we did for people, I am so grateful that I... I'm a part of that, that that is part of my life and part of the history of me, you know. Um, I just wish I would have done it for a little longer. I wish I would have done the film. I wish maybe I'd done another two seasons, maybe a season or two, and then, you know, had the show, had my part of the show conclude in a, in a positive way rather than just going to a peace treaty and kind of disappearing off the show. That's my only regret. Um, other than that, I just wish I would have got paid more. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of voiceover work, so um, that's I've been doing that. Last project I worked on was Prime Suspect, guest starring on that. Um, I'm working on getting behind the camera. I want to produce and direct some stuff. I'm writing a, a reality show that I'm working on right now, and uh, I'm looking to do some short films and direct some short films because I, I think that's the next ideal place for me to be is to get behind the camera and start you know start you know showing other people where to go and how to be you know I mean I've been an actor in the industry for over 20 years now so um, which is kind of crazy <laughs> like it's 20 years we are celebrating 20 years with this show are you serious I mean if you would have asked me 20 years ago you know will you be you know, what, what will Power Rangers be to you in 20 years? I'd have been like, oh, you know, it'd be way behind me. But the fact of the matter is, is I've done a lot of work. I've done over 140-something shows. I mean, I've been a series regular on other shows. I've 
been recurring, I've been guest stars on all these other shows, but nothing has had the success of Power Rangers. Nothing compares to it. Nothing. I mean, you know, I'm I'm in 40 countries around the world. I've been to Africa. I've been to, to all these different places that I can't even speak the language and they know me. It's crazy. It's like, wow. I mean, the effect that this show has had on the world, not just the United States, is overwhelming. I mean, I'm not even cognizant of of some of it. I mean, like, I, you know, it's crazy. So, you know, I've done shows like The Shield, and um, which was a great show. I did some, some excellent work on that and um, worked with Michael Chiklis and the show won a Golden Globe and um, uh, an Emmy. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm really proud of that, but it's still that doesn't even compare to what Power Rangers has been. So, um, <clears throat> I'm looking forward to doing more. Keep following me. I got big plans. I plan to do a lot of other things. And, uh, and you know, check me out on Twitter, at Walter E. Jones, or hit me up on Facebook at um, Walter Emmanuel Jones fan page. Uh, that's on Facebook. And like me. Like me. And, uh, and if you want to hit me up on Instagram, that's at in my eye. That's I N N Y I. In my eye on Instagram. Um, and just keep a lookout because I'm not done. By any means. I did a couple of songs on on Power Rangers with Amy Jo. I did a song. I sang a song for Angela back in the day. That was interesting. (laughs) They never let me hook up with Angela. That was wrong. That was wrong. But the left, you know, it was like, it went right. She had nice lips. Um, Now, I I guess I want to talk about.